Welcome to my channel, Mother Suckers. Hey, it's your favorite unicorn. I am Eloho. And today we're going to be talking about your favorite stallion, Meg the Stallion. You know, the unicorn is a cousin to the stallion. I'm just saying, we just, just a little bit more magical. So, boom. If you did not know, Meg the Stallion and her makeup artist kind of got into it on the internet, honey, on the interwebs via the comment section. Now, if I can find it, I'll show you guys um, some posts where Meg talks about doing her own makeup, um, where people will compliment her on her makeup and they ask, like, okay, who's your makeup artist? Tag your makeup artist. And she'll let us know that she does her own makeup. For the most part, when Meg does her own makeup, she's very proud of herself, right? As any girl is when she beats her face to the gauze. And people are like, girl, who did your makeup? up and you like me you know you want a little bit of accolades because you can beat your face just like the rest and the best of them okay so her makeup artist comments under her picture and says makeup by Akila face that's her makeup artist's instagram okay yeah so i see that on his page he has a few looks from meg the stallion so okay and he even he even did the look from the collab with Nicki minaj okay i see why he won credit honey okay he goes into her comment section and he says makeup by himself and she responds and says, and me. He responds and says, no, you filled in your eyebrows. And I'm sorry, but I just feel like he said it like this. No, you filled in your eyebrows and you put on your lighter MAC powder when I was done. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh God, no, Jesus, not the stallion. Sis, okay, first of all, that was shade. Let me just keep reading. Um, No, you filled in your eyebrows and put on your lighter MAC powder when I was done. This is not a makeup war. I always do your makeup and never get credited. That is hurtful. Okay, so she responds and says, whoa. First of all, if you was really hurt, you could have texted me this. Second, you right. It ain't a makeup war because we all know I do my makeup and you touch it up or I let you start and I'll finish. Um, oof. Okay, first and foremost, that is very unprofessional if you have somebody's number if you have a way of contacting them if you are an artist that's always this is your client you're always doing her makeup there's no need to there's no need for that energy on the interwebs okay because then it gets to the shade room and then you're boop you don't got a job okay so there's no need to ever take it to that level like if you really felt like meg like can you tag me and you've done her makeup on so many occasions i would just say have that conversation with her on the side like hey girl you know can you tag me sometimes when i do your makeup i'm really trying to get my little following up whatever whatever the case may be that's now that's one way to look at it right but the way i personally look at it what is the agreement what is the contractual agreement between our business relationship am i paying you to do my makeup because if i'm paying you to do my makeup then that's that's that I can tag you if I want, I can tag you if I remember, but I don't have to tag you if you're offering me a service and I'm paying for that service. And I feel like that's where this generation is kind of getting a little bit too entitled because this is the internet, um, you know, the social media famous, the social media fame hungry generation where everybody wants to be somebody on the internet, right? So kind of like um, Arrogant Tay, how he kind of really got big after Nicki Minaj really co-signed that he does her hair. Okay, every relationship is not Arrogant Tay and Nikki you know what I mean and sometimes you just gotta let it grow and, and build to that and sometimes it just won't be that it can just strictly be business how many celebrities that we know and we don't know who do their makeup we don't know who do their hair we don't know who their stylists are and that's okay because if I'm paying you for a service or we have an agreement upon a service I don't have to necessarily make you famous based on what you are being paid to do the thing is she has tagged him in the past she has I think she did um someone said she did include him in her Vogue segment where she talks about her makeup and how she got into makeup and she spoke about him as her makeup artist i'll give you an example so i have a celebrity um clientele and when i first when she first booked me and she was like oh my god i love the way you do my makeup nobody else doesn't make like you oh my god oh my god like i want you to myself i don't want anybody to know and sometimes people get that way and even though to me i was like dang like i want you to tell all your celebrity friends but i get it you understand like sometimes you just want this personal thing to yourself and she pays me very well Okay, she pays me good. Your girl be good when she booked me, okay? She pays me very well. And I feel like her paying me is better than any tag, than any ad, than any, you know, referral. Because she's like, listen, I want you for me. I'm going to take care of you. You're good. You don't have to worry about nothing. And if I ever did feel like, like, dang, girl, you know, I really want you to tag me because I do want to big up my following or I want to expand, I would have that conversation with her. And that's only because me and her are really, actually, really cool. 
advertisement and promotion is very expensive like, we can set up a package for that boo like if you want to be tagged and promoted we can do that and i can keep my coin or like i said you might luck up and find somebody like a Nicki minaj and arrogant taste situation where she'll tag him she'll promote him and i'm pretty damn sure she's paying him as well i think he did say yeah she pays her she pays him pretty well as well but i don't know it's just the tone it's just the tone it's the correctiveness it's the no you filled in your eyebrows like sis stop you didn't really do nothing you filled in your brows like sis you ain't doing your makeup you filled in your brows it's kind of like insulting her like publicly you know and then said and put a lighter mac powder on your face when i was done <laughs> I'm sorry to stop fucking. You can't shade your client and expect your client to still be your client. I know. Let me take this out because it's dead. <laughs> but no. Honey, sis said, no, you put a lighter MAC powder on your face. But you know what? I'm not even going to say because I'm going to hop between both because y'all know I'm a makeup artist as well. But you know what I hate? I just hate when you finish your client's face and then they want to put their little stuff on top and you just looking like. You you ain't you ain't even have to do that. You you ain't need you ain't need that. No. You know, sometimes your clients are just comfortable with a certain look. And no matter what your expert eye can see, you know, they just want that certain look. I remember doing um Lil Mama's makeup and she's very because you know she has beautiful, stronger, um, I won't even say strong, but she has beautiful prominent. There you go. She has beautiful prominent features. And you know, sometimes because when she because she naturally has the high cheekbones and the you know what I mean, the the full lips and everything like that, she's like, All right, I don't really want too much makeup because I don't want to look mad. I already have everything. I really don't need makeup, but I understand I need makeup. So can you please just go very soft? And the first time I was working with her, she kind of was like doing her own makeup. And I was kind of like, okay, like, do I need to be here? And she's like, all right, go ahead, go ahead. I trust you. I trust you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And I'm doing it. And then she's like, okay, okay, okay. Yes, keep it soft. Keep it cute. I like it. So sometimes people got to get comfortable with you. A lot of celebrities, they'll do their thing, you know, and then you, you can just add your expertise on top of that. But whatever the case may be, you just always want to keep it cute. Keep it cute and keep it mute, to be honest with you. You you ain't their friend. You don't, you, you're not their friend. You're their, you're, you're, you're their, um, what are you? You are hired to do a job, okay? Sometimes friendships can come out of it, but you are hired to do a job. You are paid to do your job. Let's keep it professional and let's keep it at that. Now, on the scale of, sometimes you don't get paid, okay? On a scale of maybe he's not getting paid and he's supposed to be getting tagged like that's the agreement that's different that doesn't look like what the agreement was okay because let me read well let me read what he um so then he wrote on his story he said all artists should be paid and tagged especially when you're talented end of discussion now i y'all i really don't i really i don't know i Oh my god, I'm literally like low-key torn in between the two because I do feel like it's a nice thing to tag But it should not be mandatory because if I'm paying you and I remember I seen um, what's his name? Kevin Wade Kevin Wade, I follow him. Um, he does makeup and I remember he he specifically had to post one day He was like listen, I'm looking for somebody to do a service. Don't look for no tags. Don't look for no mentions I will pay you. I just need this service done and that to be the final because sometimes people are just like I said So clout hungry that it's not even about the job anymore. It's okay. Tag me tag me tag me tag me tag me tag me I'm telling you some people will prefer a tag than a check and that's just sad I do understand how it would feel if I'm just like content Continuously slaying a girl, slaying a girl, slaying a girl, and it's like, dang, I can't. I got a little, you know, 70 followers, and she got 70 million. I can't get a tag. I would feel that way too. And in that case, I would say, listen, Meg, like, what can I do to get a little tag and a mention once in a while so I could gain my little, you know, I could pump my shit out there. Like, but I'm telling you, this day and age. Ain't no secrets, ain't no secrets no more. Ain't no stay in your lane. Everybody's in front street. Everybody wants to. And I personally, I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to be tagged. I don't. I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to be tagged, with wanting recognition and having people see this is my work. I don't see anything wrong with that. But again, time, place, and way to go about it. Hit her up, text her, call her. The next time you do her beat, like, girl, why you don't tag me, honey? What, what, what you want? You want a little extra, what, what happened? You want a discount? A discount for a tag? Like, make it friendly, make it lighthearted, but make it professional. 
Like, you was clearly, he was triggered, bro. He was so triggered when he said no. You filled in your brows and put on your lighter powder foundation. This is not a makeup war. I always do your makeup and never get credited. To say you're right, it ain't a makeup war because we all know I do my makeup and you touch it up. Or I let you start it and I'll finish. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I think it was just way out of line and way unprofessional. Um and very entitled but that's the generation that we live in people do want to be tagged like the girls want to be tagged if you're not tagging the girls the girls are gonna be like okay where's my tag i've had people take pictures of me like take like a couple of pictures of me on my iphone and be like yeah girl tag me and i'm like uh-huh you know thinking it's a joke but ha huh? and then they will really come under the comment and so no tag and i'm like oh i didn't think you really wanted to be tagged for simply taking a picture like uh. Now you guys let me know what you thought of this situation. Do you think the makeup artist is right in saying that, listen, all artists deserve to be paid and tagged because this is their work and they want recognition. And of course they want to grow their own brand. So someone who does have millions of followers or even if they don't, you know, they just want to be tagged. Do you believe that all artists should be paid and tagged? Do not tag anybody. Sometimes I just want to just throw up a pic of me scratching my head. No tags. Or throw up a pic of me looking fly. No tags. Just me. Like this is just me. Yeah. I don't know about this, this, this it's just me sometimes you want that and you'll have people on the side like oh make sure you tag us make sure you tag us I'm like bro sometimes i don't want to tag nobody but if that's in the paperwork i mean you got to do what you got to do if it's not then is that a is it an l like check it up to be an l is it an l if you don't get tagged but you got paid though did you get paid though did you agree to the terms and those are the terms and now you mad y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section of course like comment and subscribe and i'll see you at the next one